Solomon's Song of Songs Chapter 1 Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for your love is more delightful than wine Pleasing is the fragrance of your perfumes your name is like perfume poured out No wonder the young women love you Take me away with you let us hurry let the king bring me into his chambers we rejoice and delight in you we will praise your love more than wine how right they are to adore you dark am i yet lovely daughters of jerusalem dark like the tents of kedar like the tent curtains of solomon do not stare at me because i am dark because i am darkened by the sun my mother's sons were angry with me and me be take care of the vineyards my own vineyard i had to neglect tell me you whom i love where you graze your flock and where you rest your sheep at midday why should i be like a wild woman beside the flocks of your friends if you do not know most beautiful of women follow the tracks of the sheep and graze your young goats by the tents of the shepherds i like in you my darling to a mare among pharaoh's chariot horses your cheeks are beautiful with earrings your neck with strings of jewels we will make you earrings of gold studded with silver while the king was at his table my perfume spread its fragrance my beloved is to me a sachet of myrrh resting between my breast my beloved is to me a cluster of henna blossoms from the vineyards of en gedi how bu- how beautiful you are my darling Oh how beautiful your eyes are doves How handsome you are my beloved oh, how charming and our bed is verdant the beams of our house are cedar our rafters are firs Song of Solomon chapter 2 I am a rose of Sharon a lily of the valleys like a lily among thorns is my darling among the young women Like an apple tree among the trees of the forest is my beloved among the young men. I delight to sit in his shade and his fruit is sweet to my taste. Let him lead me to the banquet hall and let his banner over me be love. Strengthen me with raisins, refresh me with apples for I am faint with love. His left arm is under my head and his right arm embraces me. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you by the gazelles and by the doves of the field. Do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Listen, my beloved, look, here he comes, leaping across the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattice. My beloved spoke. and said to me arise my darling my beautiful one come with me see the winter is past the rains are over and gone flowers appear on the earth the season of singing has come the cooing of doves is heard in our land the fig tree forms its early fruit the blossoming vines spread their fragrance arise come my darling my beautiful one come with me my dove in the clefts of the rock in the hiding places on the mountain side show me your face let me hear your voice for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely catch for us the foxes the little foxes that grow in the vineyards our vineyards that are in bloom my beloved is mine and i am his he browses among the lilies until the day breaks and the shadows flee turn my beloved and be like a gas or like a young stag on the rugged hills Song of Songs chapter 3 All night long on my bed I look for the one my heart loves I look for him but did not find him I will get up now and go about the city through its streets and squares I will search for the one my heart loves so I looked for him but did not find him The watchmen found me as they made their rounds in the city Have you seen the one my heart loves Scarcely had I passed them when I found the one my heart loves I held him and would not let him go till I had brought him to my mother's house to the room of the one who conceived me Daughters of Jerusalem I charge you by the gazelles and the doves of the field do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires Who is this coming up from the wilderness like a column of smoke 
perfumed with myrrh and incense made from all the spices of the merchant. Look, it's Solomon's carriage, escorted by sixty warriors, the noblest of Israel, all of them wearing the sword, all experienced in battle, each with his sword at his side, prepared for the terrors of the night. King Solomon made for himself the carriage. He made it of wood from Lebanon. It post he made of silver, its base of gold. Its seat was upholstered with purple, its interior inlaid with love. Daughters of Jerusalem, come out and look. You daughters of Zion, look on King Solomon wearing a crown, the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding, the day his heart rejoiced. Song of Songs, Chapter 4 How beautiful you are, O oh my darling! Oh, how beautiful! Your eyes behind your veil are doves. Your hair is like a flock of goats descending from the hills of Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep just shorn, coming up from the washing. Each has his twin, not one of them is alone. Your lips are like a scarlet ribbon, your mouth is lovely, your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. Your neck is like the Tower of David, built with courses of stone. On it hang a thousand shields, all of them shields of various. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle that browse among the lilies. Until the day breaks and the shadows flee, I will go to the mountain of Mir and to the hill of incense. You are altogether beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Lebanon. Descend from the crest of Amana, from the top of Zenir, the summit of Hermon, from the lion's dens and the mountain haunts of leopards. You have stolen my heart, my sister, my bride. You have stolen my heart with one glance of your eyes, with one jewel of your necklace. How delightful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much more pleasing is your love than wine, and the fragrance of your perfume more than any spice. Your lips drop sweetness as the honeycomb, my bride. Milk and honey are under your tongue. The fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. You are a garden locked up, my sister, my bride. You are a spring enclosed, a sealed fountain. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with choice fruits with henna and nerd. Nerd and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with every kind of incense tree, with myrrh and aloes and all the finest spices. You are a garden fountain, a well of flowing water streaming down from Lebanon. Awake, north wind, and come. South wind, blow on my garden, that its fragments may spread everywhere. Let my beloved come into his garden and taste its choicest fruits. Song of Songs, Chapter 5 I have come into my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb and my honey. I have drunk my wine and my milk. Eat, friends, and drink. Drink your fill of love. I slept, but my heart was awake. Listen, my beloved is knocking. Open to me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my flawless one. My head is drenched with the dew, my hair with the dampness of the night. I have taken off my robe. Must I put it on again? I have washed my feet. Must I soil them again? My beloved thrust his hand through the latch opening. My heart began to pound for him. I rose to open for my beloved, and my hands dripped with mirror. My fingers with flowing mirror on the handles of the bolt. I opened for my beloved, my, my, but my beloved had left. He was gone. My heart sank at his departure. I looked for him, but did not find him. I called him, but he did not answer. The watchmen found me as they made their rounds in the city. They beat me, they bruised me, they took away my clock, those watchmen of the walls. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you. If you find my beloved, what will you tell him? Tell him I am faint with love. How is your beloved better than others, most beautiful of women? How is your beloved better than others, that you so charge us? My beloved is radiant and ruddy, outstanding among ten thousand. His head is purest gold, his hair is wavy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves by the water streams, washed in milk, mounded like jewels. His cheeks are like beds of spice, yielding perfume. 
His lips are like lilies dripping with myrrh. His arms are roots of gold set with topaz. His body is like polished ivory decorated with lapis lazuli. His legs are pillars of marble set on bases of pure gold. His appearance is like Lebanon, choice as its cedars. His mouth is sweetness itself. He is altogether lovely. This is my beloved. This is my friend. Daughters of Jerusalem.